literacy volunteers of Washington County Tutors. This is Teresa, and I'm bringing you another video about our online resources. We're going to talk today about Breaking News English. It's one of our more popular ones. To access this website, you can go to Resources. Now you can go to Recommended Websites and click on that, and that will bring you to Breaking News English right here. You can also just click on Resources itself. That will bring you here, and then you would go to Apps, Websites and Apps, and that would bring you to the same place. So there's two different ways to get here. What you want to do when you get here, Breaking News English is the first one, you want to click the little um, yellow bubble over here that says Breaking News English, and that will bring you to the website. Breaking News English is a free online resource, which is fabulous. Um, it does have a lot of ads, which is why it's free, so that can make it a little, a little cumbersome. But once you get the hang of it, it's a great place to go to get resources for your student. We're going to look at traveling slow. Traveling could slow down the aging process. Um, as you know, as you might have noticed, we have easier and harder and level zero to six. So we're going to stick on this one right here. And what you'll notice is that we come to print, listen, read, grammar, spell, and words. Now the print has a two page mini lesson and a 27 page lesson. Now this 27 page lesson has 40 different exercises, all which come from these online, online activities. The most popular thing people do is the two page mini lesson. If you click on that, you're going to get a PDF and it has the, the little story and the news article and some activities and even an answer key. You can download this mini lesson as a PDF and you can email it to your student. You can send it to me if you need me to print it. I can print it for you or you can print it at home if you have a printer. Whatever it is you want to do. They also have a, the 27 page lesson. Now that's a lot of activity. And here are the contents for that. And that also is a PDF file, which you could send to me to print, and I can print it for you since it is 27 pages. Or you can send a digital copy to your student and use it that way. And it has the articles, the warm-ups, different multiple choice, all these different activities, even homework and answers that you can, that you can use with your student regarding that particular article. So that's pretty handy. You don't have to use all of it. Maybe you like some of it. That's okay. But that's a neat option right there. Now going back to where the article is and the, the website, we have listen, read, grammar, spell, and words. Now these are things that are done online. This is something a student can do independently. This is something you can do with your student. Um, and if you're working with your student via Zoom or WhatsApp, something where you have the capacity to do a screen share, these are things you can probably do together. The listening has North American and British English accents. They have different speeds, so they would read the article to you at different speeds. So if you need it a little slower, the student, then the student can go a little slower. There's some listening and spelling. There's some dictation. Reading. They have um, three speed reading, so it comes up, I'll show you, it comes up automatically like here, and this is 100 words per minute and see how slow it's going. And then if you want to go a little faster, you can pick the same text reading at 200 words per minute and see if you can follow along that quick at that speed, okay? That's up to your student. And they have some jumbles and things and other activities with reading. They have some grammar. Like here we have the the and and ah. So that you have to go in here and decide which article do you put in. Which is pretty interesting, which is pretty cool. You know, if you're working on, on articles. Preposition, word orders. So different types of grammar activities that go with this with this article. There's also spelling. And so different activities regarding spelling and then words, you know, different activities regarding words in this article. So this would be drag the boxes to the correct gaps. So traveling 
and I didn't read the article, so I'm not going to do very well on this. Traveling is good for us. Now I can also check. <laughs> Yay, I got it right. <laughs> but I, if I don't, you say a better study, I can check again. <laughs> Oop, I got it wrong. And then you can just restart. So that's something that the that the student can can do on their own. Or like I said, if you're screen sharing, you can do that together. Why not? So that is an overview. Whoops, where did my okay? If I can let let me go back to where I need to go. That is an overview of breaking news English. And you go back to the home site. Like I said, a lot of ads. So you just kind of have to soldier on through that. Um, they have plenty of stories. The most current ones are the ones that are up top, obviously. And then if you want, you can search all 3,500 news lessons. So looking for things that you think your student might be interested in reading about. So this was designed for English language learners. And uh, it's a great resource. So I hope you take a look at it, give it a go. And uh, if you need any help with that, reach out to us and, and we'll help you out. Thank you.